classic TV fans, Rick Nige here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Gilligan's Island. On this channel, I cover classic TV shows and movies, everything from I Love Lucy, Adam's Family, The Munsters, Get Smart, so many different shows, Emergency, going up all the way to the 90s. So make sure to check out and browse my channel. I make videos every couple days a week. So every month you'll have 10, maybe 15 videos. So make sure to come back, check out the channel if you're not getting notifications. Let's get started for this episode. We're gonna talk about Gilligan's Island and more specifically about the vegetables on the island. Now this is something that's really interesting, at least to me, hopefully to all you Gilligan's Island fans, because I think it's a bit of a mystery what happened to the vegetables. Now some people may answer it all with one thing by saying, hey, continuity error. But I think we can get deeper into this and speculate more because it's what we do on this channel and it is so much fun and I always love to hear your thoughts. So the idea here is what happens to the vegetables? There are episodes where there are different vegetables, even some fruits. We'll talk about which ones there are and I'll number the episodes for you to tell you which ones they appear and then to see if there really is continuity issues or maybe it's all one well-written thing. I know that's for some of you that may be a little strange or be like, wait, Gilligan's Island isn't well-written. Well, that may surprise you. It actually is. There's a lot of great continuity on the show. I've answered a lot of the big questions. So let's get right to it. Let's start with episode five. So the episodes, I'm going to list them in chronological order. So basically, Gilligan's Island has episode one through 99. And so I'm not gonna talk about seasons to not complicate. So basically I'll list them episode five, episode 29, episode 71, and so forth. So episode five is Wrongway Feldman's appearance. Now this is one that I absolutely love. It's a good episode and I don't know, I wanna know how many of you actually like it as well. The survivors of the castaways find out that they're not alone. They discover that an old aviator played, played by Hans Conried and his crashed plane are on the island. All that remains is to fix the plane and send him off to carry word of their plight, the fact that they are shipwrecked. It's one of my favorites from season one. It's really funny. Hans Conried is perfect. And it's the introduction of the character. Now, while there's not that a lot of mention vegetables, there are a few here and there. I want to use it as a springboard to the next episode I'm going to talk about, and that is the return of Wrongway Felvin. And this is where we see some fruits and vegetables appear, and this is where it starts to get interesting. Now, this episode is episode 24, and it's where the aviator comes back and returns to the island forever, according to him. Now, to make sure that he leaves and bring word of them to the authorities, the castaways subject him to the hectic hustle and bustle of island life. They try to annoy him with sounds. One of the things they do, Gilligan and the skipper, they're sleeping very close in the same bunk area, and they start to eat fruits and vegetables that are really loud to annoy wrong way. Now, Gilligan mentions celery. You, in fact, see him and the skipper sh share the celery. They eat it, as well as apples and carrots. So we have two veggies there as well as apple as a fruit. And so that's really interesting because, well, first of all, did they bring them from the boat? Was that shipwrecked with them? Or maybe some of the survivors or guests that came on the show were able to leave them some of these vegetables. They planted some of the roots and some of the seeds and maybe they got apple trees. I don't know, maybe Wrongway Feldman brought some apples along with him when he flew back. We'll get back to that in a little bit, but let's move on to another episode. It's called They're Off and Running. Now it's episode 28, and it's an interesting one because the skipper and Mr. Howe are fighting each other, but fighting each other with turtles, or that's tortoises, and you can call them turtle races. Um, I think they're actually tortoises, but they call them in the show turtles, so we'll just go with that. Now, they're competing to see which one is faster, but they soon found out that Mr. Howe's turtle is really fast and that he keeps winning, and Gilligan gets basically traded in as a houseboy because he loses. And so it's, it's a funny one. It's a great episode, but we see more veggies and things in this episode. They're trying to feed the turtles, and now what they feed are very interesting carrots. So we see the same continuity there. We see carrots, same as in the Wrong Way episode, as well as turnips. Now turnips hasn't been really mentioned ever up until this point, but we'll keep that in mind. And also wild lettuce. Now 
I, it's they just don't say lettuce they say wild lettuce so that maybe a lose that maybe it grew on the island naturally or natively so the cassowaries do have this to eat the turnips i'm a little more curious about i'm really curious about where those carrots came from because they were mentioned in that wrong way episode as well but let's go to the last episode we're going to really really fast forward to season three it's called past the vegetables it's episode 71 out of 99. now the premise for this one is fairly simple Everyone feasts on veggies that are accidentally grown from experimental seeds that are actually radioactive, and they develop strange powers. It's one of my favorites from season three. It's great to see Gilligan lift things up in the air, and the skipper having power. Well, well, actually, Marianne has the ability to see really far away. Mrs. Howell is super fast and all these crazy things. But my question is, where did they, all these vegetables go? Because you hear Gilligan say that he really misses like spinach and carrots and and sweet beets and things like that so i just wonder what happened to them one of my theories is all the storms that happen on the island i mean they could have washed away not only the vegetables but the seeds but then again some guest stars or some people who came on the island could have brought things like seeds things washed up on shore and everything but it's really interesting to note that things that they did grow they grew radioactive corn they grew carrots they grew sugar beets they grew spinach um, I believe even artichoke, but it's really interesting to see the layers there and carrots kind of makes its way into all three episodes. Apples doesn't really appear later on, but then we have another episode with oranges that I won't talk about here, but that's one of the episodes. In fact, how there was a blight of oranges that didn't have any citrus. But my question is, have you seen these episodes? And I think the mystery here is solved. The fact that the castaways, when they were on the USS Minnow, had some fruits and vegetables just hanging around, lying around, and they would take on the trip. There were lunches available. They planted them really early on, and they grew. After that, storms blew them away, and basically, you know, they would have typhoons and so forth, and so there would be none of that left, except for when they washed up on shore, and then they again started to have vegetables. That's the way I explain it. Let me know your thoughts down below. But I just want to bring these episodes with fruits and vegetables together, and I love getting into these deep, dive episodes we'll see you all next time thanks for the support and most importantly be hopeful thank you so much for supporting the channel especially my diamond tier patrons harold p terry y jerry d citizen kane 359 david d kevin k sally n and Vito l if you want to be on this list make sure to check out the link in the description below for patreon for exclusive content you won't see anywhere else